This is the Clover. It's a coffee maker that works sort of like a cross between a French press and a vacuum pot. It uses sort of the best of both worlds. The way it works is you dump your coffee grounds into the top side of this machine here. This chamber lowers, hot water rushes out, and it brews for just a really quick, less than one minute of time. It depends on the coffee. When it finishes brewing, the elevator lowers again and it creates a vacuum that sucks the coffee through this little 70 micron filter. When the coffee gets down here, it just comes out of this little spigot here, and you've got yourself a fresh, individually brewed cup. Now, the machine itself cost $11,000, which sounds expensive, but basically what you're paying for is a team of Stanford engineers to build this thing by hand. Uh, you're also paying to get a individually crafted cup. Unlike a French press or a vacuum pot, you can design a specific brew cycle for the beans that you're gonna brew. So if I'm gonna brew one of these nice cup of excellent winter San Jose uh, beans, I can take my clover here and program in a brew time, a brew temperature, and how many you know, grams of coffee I'm using. And it'll give me a custom brew that I wouldn't be able to get with, say, a French press or a vacuum pot. Another way it beats the French press is it doesn't leave the sediment in that you get that. When a French press, you push the coffee down the bloom or the grounds down through the coffee and then you pour it and a lot of times you'll get some sediment in your cup. This doesn't do that. Now, Starbucks just bought the company so you're not going to be able to get any more clovers unless you work in a Starbucks store. Right now there are about 250 machines that are in the marketplace and other than those, unless you're somewhere like Ritual that has four of them, you're not going to get any more. Now, Starbucks has bought all these machines, and the question for them is, is can they get the beans to go in it? Starbucks isn't known for having the best quality beans. A lot of people say they over-roast, or that they, they, their beans sit around too long, or they're, they're too much blends instead of uh, single origins. I guess we're going to have to wait and see. Starbucks says they're going to get better beans, but who knows?